Howdy boys, it's NPC and today we're back for another Dripper Drown episode. And in this episode, we're going to be customizing the Visser Neo. But before we can do that, of course, we have to go over the vote totals from last week's Dripper Drown episode, which was of this beautiful Karen Everon. And in a dominating victory with basically a 10 to 1 ratio, having a score of 79 to 9, this vehicle was deemed to be drip worthy. Meaning we get to keep the Karen Everon. Thank God, because this is... This honestly might be one of my best Dripper Drown vehicles ever. This is crazy. This thing looks insane. And I'm glad you guys are able to see that too. Thank God that my subs have a good eye. I'm assuming that's why you're my subs. And not like, I'm <clears throat> harmed. What? <laughs> Let's go take our victory drive over with the Karen Everon to Simeon's. And we will buy ourselves a Visser Neo. Boom, Neo has been bought. And uh, I'll see you guys in Ellis Customs in just a sec. All right, here we are in the auto shop. And we can go ahead and start customizing. First up is the armor and brakes, of course. For the bumpers, let's see what kind of things we got going on here. Mm, not really liking these. I think I like, oh, that's not too bad. Like, I think if you're going to go race like, you kind of got to full commit to uh, having a bigger splitter. But I like the pointed pieces on the bumper right there. I think that looks nice. Um, you know what else does look nice is like the, oh. You know, now that I'm looking at it, it almost looks too insect-like. It looks like an ant's face, unless it has a splitter. So I think we do need to go for some sort of splitter. Carbon wouldn't be too bad. I don't think the primary is the worst either. Maybe we do it in primary so that it, it doesn't look as bad. What is with this car? I was going to say it looks a lot like the Corsita, but the more I think that it looks like an ant, the more it looks like an ant. I don't know if that makes any sense, but let's just keep going through the build. Our diffuser, we can make that one custom. Is that carbon or is that is that chrome? I can't really tell, honestly. The floor is really bright. I cannot tell. We can change that if we need to. But for engine, um, I'm not going to say these are the prettiest options I've ever seen. What looks cool? I don't know. I don't think any of these look amazing. Something like this, the large filter blower doesn't look too bad. Like, it, it just kind of looks pretty inoffensive, I guess. Nothing really blends into the car, though, is my only issue. But whatever. That's not something I can control. Engine upgrade, we're going to max that out. And then what does this change? The exhaust. Got it. It looks like we've got some sort of hexagon around them. So maybe we should try to keep that. Like there's these infinity hexagon exhausts. Those look pretty cool. Oh, or we could add a middle exhaust and take out the viscer. In which case, what are these for? If the smoke from the exhaust only comes out the middle ones, that would be really strange. Oh, it looks pretty cool though. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. I think we found ours. Or that, well, I'm just really liking the hexagons though. Like that looks super good. I think I might just roll with these and then make them the titanium ones because they, they blend in quite well, I think since it gets so dark in the middle. Okay, let's go with that. The Octa one's cool. Maybe we can check that one out at the end. For a grill, um, I definitely want to get rid of those ant teeth. Oh god, oh god, but it, that's like the option. Oh no, these meshes kind of get rid of that. Because I don't hate this, like I put this on my Corsita, but it didn't look like an ant. I think it's it's the headlights and the bulbousness of the, uh, what do you want to call this? The wheel arches? If anything, we put it in carbon or something. Carbon viscer grills. I kind of like that. I like the carbon viscer grill. Ew, these headlights, dude. It's killing me. Okay, the mesh. I feel like the mesh isn't very, like it doesn't represent this car well. Like this represents this car well. The Neo, what a weird car. It could be the shark grill. I don't hate the shark grill, but I'm gonna roll with this for now. We can come back to this and, and double check later. Oh, oh, these are sick wait these are crazy these are some of the best hood options i've ever seen on a car that's a um aside from this part up here that is a really nice carbon hood i really like the hex evented ones i think that's what we're gonna go for because of like that if this connected better somehow i would totally go for the carbon hood but it doesn't so i'm gonna go with the hex evented ones uh hood catches i oh do they look like antennas does it take does it make it look less like a a bug i feel like these make it look less like a bug but i i don't know it just kind of doesn't really do anything so we'll skip out on that throw in some xenon lights instead let's check out our livery options here see if that can give us inspo for a build visor stripes look kind of cool in my opinion fukuru Crowex, that is a combo that's pretty cool oh that is really well placed detailing Okay, I kind of want to try out the alt track day. Let's see if we can do anything with that. Play it, we're going to make that yellow and black since the back is all black. It's going to blend in. 
And then for the primary color, oh my god, that looks beautiful already. Blue and white is pretty crazy. Um, I don't know why I totally see this car as like a Jaguar right now with, with this current grill and these uh, hood options. I could see this like not quite like the XJ220, but it's close gray and white like that. I just don't want this to be a race car. I don't really see this one being a race car. Maybe no livery. All right, now let's check out the metals again. The metals do look pretty good, but what about metallic? I want it to be in a Jaguar-ish color. If we make it really dark like this, maybe you can't really tell that it looks bug-like. Cause I think that's it. When it's super bright, it, like if I put it in, I don't know, brown, like this is an ant color. Now it just looks like an ant. <laughs> what if we do something dark? Oh, the red is kind of sick. Oh, that is a really nice red on this. Oh my God. I think I do want it in a dark color though. That's not anything ant-like. So maybe we go with the, we go with the midnight or a galaxy blue. Honestly, I think galaxy blue makes the headlights pop out more, less than the midnight blue. So I think we're gonna go with galaxy blue and then we can do, what kind of pearl do we want on this? Maybe it's not galaxy blue. I can't really find a pearlescent that works. So we'll try midnight blue instead. And then if we throw on like a blue pearlescent, that is super deep, but I think does put too much focus on the front. So what would do that less so? No, didn't we just do midnight blue? Okay, I'm gonna change it because I would feel bad. Definitely not some sort of bright color, I think. I kind of like the gray, like the, the metallic sort of look to it. It just looks so much like a Jaguar to me, and I think this is very fitting. So let's go down that road for customization, I guess. We can go with like a black steel. Honestly, brushed black steel. That looks crazy for the secondary color. I think we we just match it, no? Just go metal all around. I think that looks pretty nice. And then for our trim color, oh, uh, we go crazy here, like a darker red or something. That would be insane. Garnet red. Doesn't that look beautiful? Oh my god, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. As opposed to like a, what else could I see in here? Some sort of beige, I guess. Not brown. It just doesn't look as good. Gray and red and black looks beautiful. Here are the roof options. We've got vortex gens and whatever those are, roof wedges. And then there's the racing kit as well. Um, I'm kind of just liking, I'm liking the sleekness right now. I think no vortex gens, maybe no roof option. It could use a little bit of detail though, no? Cause otherwise they, like the back end is super smooth. Why is the windshield wiper just in the middle like that? <laughs> what? I like the vortex gens, but I feel like if I'm going for a sleek look, is that the way to go? It kind of does match the diffuser. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it skirts we've got some painted skirts we've got carbon gt skirts as well maybe we go to our bumper options first and just make sure this is the front bumper that we want because this one's big you know there's definitely more tame ones like the street splitter right there these just look the best in my opinion the racing one so i guess we can just slap on we can slap on some sort of like racing skirts and not have it be too out of pocket but i think just like the, pri the primary skirt, right? Because these fins are too big and we want something consistent with the primary color on the bottom. So let's go with that. We could also change everything to carbon. That might not look too bad, but I am focusing on sleekness. So we'll just stick with this for now. It's fine. For our spoilers, we've got low level spoiler, tuner spoiler. I don't hate that one. I just wish it was in the primary color. Sport spoiler, a little dainty there. That's the Italian GTO spoiler. Oh, what is that? <laughs> Oh, Rockstar's going crazy with these options. Oh my God, and that one's even wider than the car. Ooh, that looks really good, actually. That fits. No, it's a little too small. I think it looks nice from the front, not from the back, though. I think I want something rounded, you know? I want something that's not either of those two options, because look how far forward they are. Ew, ew, that's vile. I think I'm gonna go with the tuner spoiler. I really like that. I think that looks nice. Transmission maxed it out, turbo tuned. And then for our wheels, this one's got a lot of spokes by default and is in chrome. I don't hate the look of that right now. Why are our rims pink? What? Oh, these look sick. Look at that contrast. Throwback rims has that painted black thing. Okay, we'll keep that in mind for a customization battle. You know, ice storm rims don't look too bad. Can we, tr let's try them out. Let's try them out in like a black. Maybe lighter, maybe like a black steel, just match it all the way. Not sure how big of a fan I am of the chrome ring, but it doesn't, it's not like the worst thing ever, you know? 
I think in black looks better than black steel actually, since we have so much black accenting. I don't, I don't know if these are the rims together. Oh, Mercy's are heat. Oh my God, that looks good. I feel like the rims almost need to be smaller, like smaller tires just because of how, they look so big compared to the back end of the car. You see what I'm saying? Like how, cause this kind of converges inwards. Might just pull the core seats and whip out the, uh, the concave racers. These look pretty nice. It's got a lot of spokes. That chrome ring is a little unfortunate, but it's not the worst with the metal. Definitely not the worst. Deep flake reverse looks pretty good as well. I actually quite like that. Concave racers. It is super sleek. Let's roll with it. F it. That looks super good. This totally doesn't even look like what what is Visser supposed to be? It just looks like a Jaguar now. Oh man, thank God we transformed it because this shit is ugly. Ugh. <laughs> Bulletproof tires. We're gonna slap this on and then we'll leave the tire smoke windows. We we could limo tint. That might just be our best option here, honestly. It's nice to be able to see the interior, but I think the car looks even better with the limo tint. You can still see the interior from the front, so. Is that all we wanted to do? The exhaust, we don't want the octo exhaust anymore. No, definitely not. Grill, we're good with this. Honestly, it looks pretty good with the stock grill now. How about the shark grill? Because that was the other one I was looking at. The carbon shark grill. The chrome one doesn't look too bad either since we do have some chrome. I think it looks fine like this. It just looks like the double branding is a little unfortunate, but I think the mesh looks really nice. So we'll leave it like this. And I don't think we missed anything else. So let's take it out and see it in better lighting. All right, here we go. And in the light, oh, interesting. Um, I think the, the Neo itself looks really nice, like with how we've customized it. The brush seal almost looks blue in the sunlight. Like, is that is that just me? This is brushed black steel. Hmm. I think if I were to go back and fix it, I would probably put it in like a more silverish silver, if I'm gonna be honest. Cause that's what I was going for. I was going for more of a silver look. Cause that's what I, that's how I see like a lot of Jaguars, specifically the XJ220 in my head. Which is supposed to be the Ocelot Penetrator, by the way. It is in the game and it's, I think, on sale somewhere this week. But um, I thought the Visser Neo would be more fun because no one really drives this car. But uh, I think it looks good. I think we did a good job making it look like a Jaguar. I just think it should be a little more silver as opposed to black. But it definitely looks nice with the red. The dark color and the red go super well together. I just... Ugh, the blue is, is it's just throwing me off a little bit. It's like why it's like you put cookies in the oven and they don't rise or something You know, but of course it is up to you guys to decide whether or not I keep this vehicle Of course be sure to let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this vehicle Drop a like if you enjoyed the video make sure to vote on drip or drown in the pin comment and Sub to the channel if you guys are new. We'll have another drip or drown coming out later this week because I did miss the weekly update because I was so gassed and i'm just late so you guys can watch you know harmon's weekly update because he does a good job covering those that's all i've got for this one i'm looking forward to seeing your guys's thoughts and i will catch you boys later peace